Excavation Sufficient material should be excavated to accommodate the drainage channel, concrete bedding and haunching. Any soft spots or poorly compacted formation should be made good. Setting out Setting out pins should be accurately located to the correct line and level, with a string line level with the top front corners of the base units. It may be advantageous to locate setting out pins to the rear of the units to avoid having to lift the units over the string line. Sufficient setting out pins should be inserted where max E channel bases are laid on horizontal curves. Outfalls Max E channel outfalls should be installed first. Sufficient material should be excavated to accommodate the trapped Max E channel gully. 125 mm of concrete of the appropriate mix is placed in the bottom of the excavation. The bottom section of the two part Max E channel is lowered into position. Sufficient M flex sealant is gunned onto the top horizontal surface of the bottom section of the two part Max E channel gully so as to provide a seal between the top and the bottom sections. The top section of the two-part Max E channel gully is lowered into position. The bedding concrete should be laid and brought up flush to the top Max E channel gully. The Max E channel base outfall block should be set directly onto a liberal quantity of stiff cement mortar. The cast iron access cover and frame units should be set directly onto a liberal quantity of stiff cement mortar to completely fill the hole of the joint. Base unit channel installation. Bedding concrete of the appropriate mix and to the appropriate thickness and depth shall be laid. Base units shall be laid onto the freshly mixed bedding concrete, starting at the outfall, i.e. working uphill. Alternatively, the base units may be bedded onto a layer of 10 to 40 mm cement mortar on a previously prepared concrete foundation. Where cutting is necessary, one or two units shall be cut so that no single unit is less than 200 mm in length. All cutting and trimming of the units shall be carried out with a concrete saw or disc cutter. Channel joint sealant. Sufficient M-sealed bituminous mastic jointing compound should be troweled onto one end face of the base unit so that the joint will be well sealed when the next unit is tamped into position. Surplus sealant shall be removed from the inner surface of the units as work proceeds. Top block, top unit grating installation. The string line should be set to the level of the top corner of units. Again, starting at the outfall, the units should be set directly onto a liberal quantity of stiff cement mortar to completely fill the whole of the joint. Cement mortar should be class M12 in accordance with BS EN 998-2 for applications up to and including D400 and should be M-bond epoxy mortar for high loading applications. The M-Bond epoxy mortar should be mixed in accordance with the instructions on the container. The top units should be tamped into position close to previously laid units and the alignment checked. The levels should be checked using the string line and a spirit level. In addition, the general alignment should be checked from all directions as each unit is laid. Any unit deviating by more than 3 mm in 3 m from line and level shall be made good by lifting and relaying. The inside and outside of the joints between base and top units should be pointed and cleaned out with a brush or rag as work proceeds. Where cutting is necessary, one or two units shall be cut so that no single unit is less than 200 mm in length. All cutting and trimming of the units shall be carried out with a concrete saw or disc cutter. It is not necessary for top and base unit vertical joints to line up. The front and rear concrete haunching is installed to the dimensions shown on the standard detail or drawing. Max E channel end caps. Where the Max E channel run does not terminate at an outfall, the base unit shall be sealed using the Max E channel end cap. The end cap shall be securely placed against the vertical end of the base unit and haunched with fresh concrete. Pavement installation. Where Max E channel is laid on or adjacent to existing or proposed concrete slabs, transverse joints shall be formed within the units and haunching adjacent to the slab joints and also longitudinal movement joints between the haunching and the slabs. Where necessary, the top unit drainage openings shall be protected against the ingress of material during concreting operations by covering with waterproof cloth tape. 